building operations module in Managing Energy deals with specific information about building usage, systems, equipment, and operating practices that influence energy use. This information pertains to mechanical systems, electrical systems, building envelopes, water fixtures, and usage patterns. It is necessary for a thorough energy audit and is also very useful for communicating with site staff and service contractors. The most common approach to populating the building operations database is to combine the effort with an energy audit program. In the past, this information would be discarded at the end of an audit project. Managing Energy provides a way to reuse it and extend the value to regular operations. Standard data collection forms have been designed for collecting the necessary information for equipment common to facilities in all sectors. Select the Help Desk icon in Managing Energy and then click on Users Reference. Here you will find the site data collection forms. These correspond with the data entry screens available through the Building Operations tab. Each data collection form matches a data entry screen in Managing Energy, designed to look similar and to hold exactly the same information. Individual forms are identified through a unified letter and number coding system. For example, Form A, either the PDF or electronic version, is used to record information on hot water and steam heating plants. Form A1 is for water circulating pumps, Form A2 for boilers, and so on. To enter mechanical systems information into the Managing Energy database, select Tab 3, Physical Details, and a facility from the facility tree. We'll select Springfield Science Museum. Choose the survey you wish to fill in from the Tasks area at the bottom of the work area. For this example, we'll use Survey N, Environmental Conditioning Unit. A blank entry form will appear with any related systems and equipment showing in a tree view on the left. Enter the ID code first and then the remaining fields. When you are done defining the new record, press Add Record. You can modify existing records in the related tree by clicking on any of the icons. To make changes to an existing record, edit any of the fields and press Update Record. To delete an existing record, press Remove Record. When all information has been added or changed as required, select Done. The mechanical data for a facility is grouped into logical units called plants. A plant is roughly defined as a collection of components or perhaps a single component designed to serve a particular function. A list of components for each parent plant appears in the facility tree. As an example, a hot water or steam heating plant is a plant designed to deliver water heating. A complex plant will have many components and each component will be defined on a separate form. In this example, water circulating pumps would be components of the hot water or steam heating plant. Heating boilers and distribution loops would also be components of the same plant. Reports are available to show information entered for any plant in Managing Energy. First select the facility name and then select Reports from the tabs in the work area. The plants can be associated to its report by name. If a plant has no information available, the report will appear grayed out. Aside from identification codes, the requested mechanical data is not absolutely required for the Managing Energy software to work. At times, site staff will find it impossible to collect some information, so it will have to be left out. Large gaps in the site data will impact the quality of the overall findings, so it is worth making a reasonable effort to get missing information. This concludes our tutorial on survey information within Managing Energy. Please check out our other videos at our website at www.managingenergy.com.